We started the run back in 2006, and the run is in memory of my son Ryan, who passed away from Hodgkin's lymphoma when he was 18. And I had always wanted to do something um, to kind of, you know, remember my son and, you know, what he stood for and things like that, and just to give back to the community, because he was really active in the community and volunteering and things like that. And um, after he had had his bone marrow transplant, he had written on his CaringBridge website, um, so do a favor for me and just go out and run somewhere, anywhere, just run because you can. So I was in Charleston in 2005 in November and they were doing a Christmas reindeer run. And I thought, wow, that's really cool. You know, I like to run. And um, then the alliteration of Ryan's reindeer run kind of sounded really cool. So it was kind of like his words um, when he was in the hospital, you know, who he was as a person, his desire to make a difference in the community, my desire to kind of enable him to continue to make that difference even though he had passed away. And then seeing that Christmas run and thinking that Ryan's reindeer run kind of sounded cool. So it kind of all came together. And so um, we started planning after I came back from from Charleston to have the run in 2006. It's a 5K run. Um, it is a hilly course. Um, we do start out going up, you know, Haymount Hill from downtown Fayetteville, and then coming back, um, there's another quite big hill that you'll come back up. So it's a challenge. And we kind of picked that course on purpose because, you know, life can be challenging and we don't always know what we're going to expect, you know, and as you turn a corner, something else may be thrown in your way. So, you know, the route is kind of um, symbolic in a sense. Of of, you know things that you might encounter in life and you know the ups and downs and things like that um, people also come out and walk they can walk with their dogs we do allow dogs we have people with jogging strollers that come out and I think the most fun thing is we get a lot of people who dress up in holiday costumes so um, as part of our run we have um, a costume contest so we have a, a group contest um, for you know a group that dresses up in costume versus individuals versus couples and then we always have the ugly sweater contest for people who run in you know, their Christmas sweater attire. So it's really a fun run, but it's a challenging run for those who are real competitive runners. And we usually have Santa Claus out there. Sometimes we've had an um, antique fire truck or an antique car that you can get your picture taken with. Um, it's just a great kind of right before the holidays, family, fun type of event. It's um, December the 19th, which is a Saturday. It's always the third Saturday in December. Package pickup that morning or to register that morning is at 7 a.m. at the Medical Arts Complex Field, um, which is right there on Robeson Street um, and Hay Street, right across from the Airborne Museum. We do have them here at the Child Advocacy Center, so people can pick up registration forms here if they wanted. You can also go online to active.com and um, just put in Ryan's Reindeer Run, Fayetteville, North Carolina, and that should bring it up. Um, and so you can register online if you want. You can also go to Ryan's Reindeer Run um, website and get the, you know, the actual printable form on the website as well. So, or else you can also come the Friday night at Breezewood Healthcare and, and register that night too. But I do re recommend people register early. Um, if you want to guarantee getting a t-shirt in your size, um, I do need your registration by the beginning of December. Sponsorship opportunities, they're also available on the Ryan's Reindeer Run website, or people can just contact me directly at 910-670-9497 if they're interested in either volunteering or um, sponsoring the run. Um, I do send out sponsor letters. Um, they've all gone out to people who've sponsored in the past or to people who've expressed an interest, so they have gone out. But if somebody just, you know, that I haven't contacted is interested in sponsoring the run, um, we'd be more than happy to bring them aboard. Um, and there's different levels levels of sponsorship and different benefits that people get. And I'm always looking for volunteers, both for the Friday night, um, December the 18th at Packet Pickup, um, earlier that week when we put all the stuff together for the run, and then also on the day of the race. And there's a volunteer form on the website at ryansreindeerrun.com, or they can just contact me again at 910-670-9497 if they're interested in volunteering. 
It's really interesting because a lot of Ryan's friends now are having families of their own, so they're returning with their kids, and it's really cute because um, a lot of them will, if they have little children, they're decorating the strollers. Um, and in fact, um, Ryan's older brother last year, they, um, they were like the Polar Express, so their stroller was decorated like the Polar Express. Um, we do get some of his friends that come back and volunteer at the run. It's just, you know, kind of a big family event. Um, we have family entries. That's something that's a little different with our run, too. You can enter as a family in the family competition. And so a lot of times we do have repeat people that come back. We have some people who've done it every year since the inception. Um, as I'm getting the registration forms now, I've, uh, one of the questions I ask is, you know, how many years have you participated? So it's really interesting to see how many people have participated every year. And then some people, it's their first year. Because of being a military community, we do get a lot of turn turnover of runners that come, so sometimes this is their first run, they'd never heard about it before. But um, this is our 10th anniversary, so we're really excited. This will be the 10th year of doing this run. And every year since the inception, other than last year, our numbers increase. We started out with almost 300 runners the first year, and we've been increasing every year up to the max of over 1,000 runners. I know if Ryan was here, he'd just be amazed to see the number of people that have come out. But more importantly, Ryan really wanted to make a difference in the community. Um, in the book that I finally got published for him, uh, Run Because You Can, My Personal Race with Cancer, his um, journal entries, he talks so much about wanting to make a difference, that it didn't matter if he died young or died old, as long as he had some impact on somebody else's life while he was here on this earth. And so it's so important for me um, that I can continue that for him and through the funds that we raise that we have been able to make differences in people's lives. The money from the race um, goes to many different organizations that provide services to children or cancer patients. We always give back to the Duke Pediatric Bone Marrow Unit where Ryan had his bone marrow transplant done. We always give to families there, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, the Child Advocacy Center, the Care Clinic here in town, Better Health um, of Cumberland County, uh, um, just many, many different organizations that provide services to people within our community and then to just children who have cancer. So um, we're always looking at ways that, in a sense, Ryan can continue to impact people's lives. Nobody on the foundation makes any money off of the run. Um, I'm not paid for being the race director, so all that money that we bring in, all the profit, goes back out into our community. And what I find amazing is even to this day, I'll hear from somebody who either read his book or, you know, got read something about him and, you know, I'll get a little note or a card just saying, you know, how his story impacted their lives. And in fact, I think the most touching I got was this past Mother's Day. I got this wonderful email from a woman just talking about how Ryan's story had impacted her life. And it just kind of just amazed me that, you know, people would still be letting me know that.